Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another Tuesday night beginner lessons. We're going to get you guys started on a little bit of a warm up. Uh, and we're going to touch on some news. And uh, then we're going to tell you another joke since the last one was such a hit. So first things first, I'm going to put my sword away. And then we're going to get started on uh, just stretching everything out. So we're going to start at the bottom and we're going to work our way to the top. So we're going to get started on those ankles. And we're going to roll them now so we don't roll them later. So the first bit of news, unfortunately, is kind of sad news. Um, the uh, Great Fight North is canceled with no date set for any sort of future um, any sort of future postponement or anything like that. We're just going to cancel it for 2020 and start it again later. If you haven't heard, uh, also, the Glengarry Highland Games have been canceled similarly. So the, uh, the same story there. We're cooking up something. Uh, Anne Kronika, the, uh, the, the um, circle of, of, uh, of people who put together the matches last year, are working on something this year. Oh, there it is. But we haven't quite decided what it's going to be. Similarly, um, our annual musket drill, uh, or musket levee, has been cancelled. So, Great Fight North and Kornika and the musket levee are all cancelled um, permanently, not until further notice, but rather until 2021. That said, uh, for all of those things, we are trying to do various things in the meantime to get things worked out. And I specifically am talking about through the Cataran Society and through Anne Cornica. So if you guys are looking to get involved, don't worry. Just because what we did last year can't happen this year doesn't mean that we're not doing anything. So we are going to be doing uh, something through Anne Cornica and also the Niagara Broadsword Academy is continuing to try to put stuff together. So we're in touch with other uh, fencers um, and other people outside of the fencing community, such as the uh, same guys we were talking to in Fort George with the musket drill. We're in touch with all kinds of people to see what we can put together for you guys. So hopefully we'll still have a program going this year, even if it's not quite what we had last year. So that's the bad news. And now for the joke. I don't remember the joke that I was supposed to tell today. So we're working from the bottom to the top, trying to get all those muscles stretched out so that we don't hurt them in the future. Oh, I remember the joke now. There's people on an airplane. This is a mode of transportation they used to use. Everyone would go into a steel tube and be flown through the air. We don't really do that anymore. Uh, but anyway, there were these people on an airplane back when we used to fly them. And uh, they, there was a woman. And she's sitting in the aisle seat, and beside her is this rather large, kind of stinky man. And she's already upset, okay? She has to cut her vacation short, head home for some reason. Everyone's a little anxious. So she's looking to pick a fight. And the guy, similarly, looking to pick a fight. He's a little upset. So he's sitting there, and uh, all the, the meals come out and so on and so forth. The woman has got her purse jammed beside her seat. And it's sort of like infringing on his territorial rights in the seat there. Uh, and so he's been quite upset about this, but more than that, he realizes now there's a little dog in the woman's bag. So now he's quite upset because the woman's got the bag jammed up there because you can't put it under where her feet goes because there's a dog in it, which you're not allowed to bring on the plane anyway. So he's a little mad. He gets the flight attendant's attention. He says, there's an animal in this bag. And the flight attendant says, well, I mean, we're, you know, couple thousand feet in the air, there's nothing really we can do about it now, so if you can try and accommodate whatever, if, and he's just livid. He's not happy. So he uh, gets in a scrap with the woman, they're snickering back and forth, uh, and uh, unfortunately the flight attendant isn't able to move them to anyone, no one else will take them because they're both such a nightmare to deal with. So the whole plane is mad at these two people, and the, the man finally decides, you know what, she can have a dog on the plane, I'm going to have myself a cigarette. So he pulls a cigarette out and lights it on the airplane. So now everyone's in an uproar 
and the woman is mad because the man is smoking on the plane, and the man is mad because the dog is there, and finally the flight attendant has had enough, she grabs the bag, she grabs the cigarette, she opens the airplane door, throws them both outside, slams the airplane door shut, and away they go on their journey, and she goes back to the two of them and she says, if you guys keep bickering like that, it's going to be you next. So they settle down for a minute, and they start enjoying the in-flight movie. And then, after a little ways, they're getting towards their destination, and the man lifts up his window to see where they're landing. And what does he see out on the wing but the dog clinging to the edge of the wing with, for, the, for fear of its life? And what's in its mouth? The brick. It's a two-part joke. So if you didn't get that joke, it's because you didn't watch the last video, so shame on you. Anyway, so we're done with the warm-up a long time ago, and now we're going to do our uh, we're going to do our lunging stretch. So we got our nice uh, footwork. We're going to reach as far as we uh, can comfortably with our legs. We're going to reach that bottom arm out, and we're going to reach the top arm over the top. Make sure it doesn't come across the front. Over the top and in, and roll it back. There you go. And over the top. And roll it back. Okay, we're gonna do five of these on each side. Two, that's three. Four, there it is. And five, there we go. And here we are, one, and back. And two, and back. And try and go as far as you can with these. And back. Four. There we go. Five. Try and feel all the muscles that you're working with that particular stretch. I'm going to take a brief break, grab a little water, and we're going to do it again. Points north is where I got this beautiful water bottle, but unfortunately, everybody's canceled. So uh, we're looking like we're postponing the whole HEMA season. If anyone knows why the HEMA season is in the summer, let me know. I took a sports history in university. No, as my degree, just as a couple of classes. And so I find it fascinating what uh, what sports seasons are for what reasons. Some of them are obvious, like hockey in the winter. But some of them have a lot of sort of politics and history around them. Anyway, we're going to do that again. Stretch out as far as you can. Reach and pull back. Up. Reach and pull back. Reach, pull back, reach, pull back, reach, and pull back. We're going to go to the other side here. Reach, pull back, reach, pull back, reach, pull back. And last one there. Good job, everybody. All right, so that's a basic warm up, and uh, we'll pass you off again to Jay Moss and see how he's doing over there in Manitoba. Thanks for joining us on Tuesday, guys.